Hello everyone. Today in this class, I am going to discuss how to implement JK flip flop in BHDL language by using Xilinx software. So let us see. This is the schematic diagram of a JK flip flop, and uh, this JK flip flop is going to store the state of the variable Q. So here it has three input clock J and K, and it has two output Q and Q bar. Now let us assume that the present state of the variable Q is zero, and uh, any flip flop change its state only when there is a clock pass. So when the clock is one, and if the present state is zero, in that time if the input J and K is zero zero, in that case the flip flop do not change its state and it remain in the previous state. So that is why, if the present state is zero, the next state becomes zero. Similarly, in the next clock, uh, if the input uh, corresponding to J and K is zero and one, in that case, the flip flop reset itself and the next state becomes zero. Similarly, in the third scenario, when the clock is one, if the input uh, corresponding to J and K is one and zero, in that case, the flip flop set itself and the next state value of the variable K becomes one. Similarly, uh, when uh, the input uh, corresponding to J and K is one one, in that case, the present state flip itself and if the present state is zero, the next state becomes one. Uh, this is the advantage of JK flip flop over SR flip flop. Where SR flip flop, when both uh, say input uh, S and R was one one, in that case the uh, next state was unknown. But in case of JK flip flop, when the J and K values are one, in that case the next state just uh, uh, toggled it from the previous state. So if the previous state is zero, the next state becomes one. Similarly, for if the present state is one. In that case, when J and K is zero zero, the next state become uh, remain same one, and when the J K values are zero one, in that case, the next state becomes zero. It reset itself, and similarly, when J K value is one zero, in that case, the next state set itself, and the next state become one. And when the J K values is one one, in that case, the present state flip itself, and it becomes zero. And all state changes are occur only when the clock is on. Now let me try to implement the JK flip flop using Xilinx software in BHDL language. So this is Xilinx software. Let me create a new project. Uh, le let me name it JK flip flop. After that, click next, next, finish. Now let me create a new project, a new source, and uh, create a VHDL module because we are going to write down our program in VHDL. Uh, let me make this file name JK flip flop. And in this uh, example, as you know, it has three input: clock, J, and K. And it has two output: one is Q and another one is Q bar. So Q and Q bar are the output. So make them output, and after that, click next and finish. Now let me zoom it little bit. So in this, uh, in the architectural behavioral part within the begin end construct, we are going to write down our logic corresponding to JK flip flop. So first of all, create a process. And process is similar to function in or procedure in C language. So this process is going to receive the value of the clock. And after that, let me create any temporary variable for storing the next state temporarily. So and the type of the temporary variable will be standard logic. Now let me start writing my program. So this is the beginning of my process and in the beginning the first condition as we all know that clock should be one and as well as the clock event so clock event uh, can be anything positive edge triggered and negative edge triggered so for any specific clock event if these two conditions are true then i am going to look into the further condition 
now I'm going to now when the clock is one and uh, the event clock event occurs, the flip flop is now activated. Now I'm going to check the condition of J and K and based on their condition, I am going to say it will be the next state. So if J and K both are zero, in that case, what should be the next state? Next state should be same as previous state. So I have written 10. So next state is not going to change. Else if if j value is 1 and k value is 0 in that case the flip flop will set its state to 1 so in that case temp variable will have a value 1 similarly check for the other scenarios when the value of j is 0 and when the value of k is 1 In that case, the flip-flop will reset itself, so temporary state will be 0. Else, the last scenario when J and K both are 1, in that case, flip-flop will flip its state. So, if it was 0, it will become 1, and if it is 1, then it will become 0. So, temp will become not temp. Put a semicolon, and now close these if-else letters. So, end if it will close the uh, inner if if else ladder and end if it will close the outer if else ladder after that the actual output is going to receive the value of 10 and q bar is going to receive the value of not 10 which is holding temporarily the next state value and after that i need to close the process so end process now let me save this program and now let me compile this program so compilation is successful now let me go to the behavioral simulation part and let me try to create a new test page so new source I want to create a new test page so test jk flip flop now click next finish so obviously as it is a uh, sequential circuit so let be there the clock and clock name is clk now click the finish button this is clock which is changing its value from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 and these are the j and k which will be the input fitted by 1 and uh, the, the step size is 200 nanosecond so initially let me set the flip flop so after 200 nanosecond make the value of j as 1 and uh, let the value of k remain 0 and uh, remember we are only going to focus on the region when clock value is 1 so within 200 to 300 nanosecond the value of clock is 1 and during that time uh, the ch state change will occur so I have in that time I have make j1 and k as 0. Now again uh, when the clock value will be 1 between 400 and 500 nanosecond. During that time let me turn off the value of j. So between two, 400 and 500 nanosecond the value of j and k both are 0. Similarly the next uh, time when uh, the clock is 1 is between 600 and 700 nanosecond. And during that time let me uh, set uh, let me set the value of k and let me reset the value of j so during that time as we can see between 600 and 700 the value of uh, j is 0 value of k is 1 and finally between 800 and 900 nanosecond when the clock is 1 make the j and k both value 1 so between 800 and 900 clock pulse the value of j and k both are 1 as you can see now save this test bench and after that go to the process and simulate our VHDL module with this test bench
Now let me analyze our result. So this is our result between uh, 0 to 200 nanosecond. The clock is 0. There is nothing to look at. But between 200 to 300 nanosecond, uh, the clock value is 1. And during that time, J is 1, K is 0. So obviously, the JK flip-flop will set itself. So Q will have a value 1. And obviously, Q bar will have a value 0. Again, between 400 to 500 nanosecond, we can see uh, the clock is 1 and J value is 0, K value is 0. As J, K both are 0, so Q will remain in its previous state. The, so the state change will not happen and Q will have a value 1 and Q bar will have a value 0. Now let me go to uh, the time duration between 600 nanosecond and 700 nanosecond. During that time we can see the clock is 1, J is 0 and K is 1. As K is 1, the JK flip-flop will reset itself. So the Q will have a value 0 and obviously Q bar will have a value 1. Now let me check the time duration between 800 and 900 nanosecond. During that time, clock is 1, J is 1, K is 1. And as both and J, K value is 1, so state change will occur. So previously, if a Q, as we have seen, between 600 and 700, uh, the Q value was 0. So the value will flip. Now the Q value will become 1. And obviously, Q bar will become 0. And this is how JK flip-flop works. Thank you all.